Hello viewers, welcome to Scientific Investing. So in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, infrastructure sector and uh, stock which is uh, interesting in the infrastructure space. All these videos, the blogs we write, the collaterals which we make, the analysis which we do, all the public work which we are doing now, we are collating everything into one free course on our website learn.scientificinvesting.in and it is available in the form of a free course. So if you register, you have all the content taxes at one place. So do make best use of it. So first reason why we are looking at infrastructure and we know currently there is a strong bull market going in infra, whether you look in terms of fundamental results or you look in terms of sector strength or you look in terms of momentum on charts on companies belonging to infra. However, again, I would like to iterate, we are a believer of system and processes and uh, the infrastructure sector, uh, we have a tool called Simba Scientific Investing Market Breadth Analyzer and Simba tracks each and every indices, sector, ETFs, industries, companies, and we have a point of view on each of them so that we can always look at new interesting ideas coming up. And in Simba, infrastructure came almost uh, seven to eight months back. And that is where we started tracking infra companies. Uh, we have been studying multiple infra companies, invested in few. Uh, but off late, another interesting infra company came on our radar. And again, how it came on our radar is again Simba. So in Simba, at a stock level, uh, we have different kind of IPs built to track companies which are getting into stage two, to track companies which are getting into price volume action. And the stage two companies, we call it Ghumega, and the price volume action companies, we call it Machaiga. And every day, Simba gives, uh, you know, few such interesting bets in terms of Ghumega, Machaiga, and that is where our manual research starts. Now, coming to this company, this is where the company came on our radar because it came out in Machaiga. And anybody who understands technical analysis, you can see there is a clear breakout which is happening with very good price volume action. And if you want to be a part of our process and system based journey, uh, you know, leveraging our tools like Simba, our Excel analysis tool, our peer analysis tool, our Ghumega Machaiga uh, indicators, which are inbuilt, uh, integrated in the trading view system, all of this uh, look and explore our practitioner membership, which is the annual membership. Now, this is where we started looking at why this company has come in the breakout and we started studying company fundamentally. And there were two, three very, very strong triggers. So before I get into the triggers of the company, let me first uh, you know, brief you about what the company does and what kind of business in infra this company is in. So AG Infra Engineering, it's an infra company present in road, railways, and solar infrastructure with more than 20 years of experience and present in 11 different states. Financially, the company has done really well. If we look at the last five years of financials of the company, the revenue EBITDA and PAT has grown at 26%, 28%, and 38% CAGR, which is really, really impressive. Even when we look at last nine months of FY24 numbers, the sales EBITDA and PAT growth rate has been around 18%, 18%, and 41%. So if we see the revenue composition, there are two ways to look at the revenue and order book composition. So one is in terms of client type, almost 73% of the order book is coming from uh, government sector because road is driven by a lot of uh, state government uh, bodies as well as NHAI, which is the central body. And 27% of the order book is from private sector. If we look in terms of uh, uh, revenue mix from the infra business type, uh, in road, they have HM, HAM and EPC projects. 70, uh, uh, almost 51% of the order book is from HAM, 37% uh, of, sorry, 51% of the order book is EPC, 37% of the order book is HAM and rest 12% is from railways. So this is the brief about uh, the company. I will not get into too much of fundamentals of the company because infra is a super cyclic sector. Here the entry and the exit matters. The only thing is we should ensure the company has a decent balance sheet. And if you look at this company, this company has a debt equity ratio of 0.22 and interest coverage of more than five, which means the company is uh, pretty comfortable in terms of its balance sheet. Now, let me talk about trigger because uh, it came in our Machai guy and that means uh, uh, if we have to study, there has to be something interesting. So I will highlight what interesting I found in this company. And if we look at this company, let's say if you go back before March, uh, if you go till February, 
this company uh, in fact till december 2020 this company had an order book of 9626 crore which was almost 2x of their trailing 12 month revenue what has happened in third last 31 days in march the order book has jumped from 9600 crore to 14000 crore which means almost a 5000 crore order book has got added in one single month and in one single month, the two times order book to TTM revenue has gone to three times, which is very, very healthy. And it provides a lot of good business visibility. So because this is how infra businesses work, you get an order, you have to execute that order in one and a half, two, two and a half years. So the moment your order book improves, the market likes it. The moment your order book to revenue ratio, TTM revenue ratio declines, the market doesn't like it. That is the first part. And it was not something which came as a surprise. If you look at the Q3 con call, the management had clearly highlighted that they are looking to add almost 5,000 crore of additional order book by the time they finish this financial year, which means whatever management guided, actually management was able to execute that guidance. There's another interesting thing about this order book. So if you saw, you have already observed that this company primarily operates in the you know roadways because you have these EPC projects, you have these HM projects in the road, and uh, more than you know 50, 60 crore of uh, 50, 60 percent of the business is coming from road. But when you look at this new order book, and you can go to the uh, you know screener or you can go to NSC, and you can see the dates: first of March, seventh of March, eighth of March, eleventh, eighth uh, uh, of March. These were the dates: eighteenth uh, of March, twenty-third. These were the dates when these order book filings happened on the website. The most interesting part is when you look at this new order book. Out of five thousand three hundred and forty-four crore, the order book from Road is only fourteen hundred seventeen crore, which is you know, less than almost, uh, uh, I mean, it's almost 25% of the order book. 75% of the order book is coming from the norm road business, which is not a high revenue contributor. Why it is important is it says about their capability to grow in the norm road business. It adds to their better risk management because they're much better diversified in terms of the revenue mix. So, Almost 2,000 crore of order book has come in solar and we know what is the kind of boom which is going in solar and the kind of numbers people are projecting. Same with railways. Railways had a very good time and there is a lot of uh, good things projected in railways. 1,872 crore of order book has come from railways, which if you take for 5,400 crore, it's almost 33% of the order book, whereas in their uh, previous order book mix, it was only 12%. That means the company is first growing its order book at a very healthy rate. The TTM revenue to order book gives a very impressive timeline for the future. And uh, the order book is getting much more diversified, which reduces the risk. And the order book is building in the areas which are currently, uh, you know, areas which are in high momentum. So all of this presents a good opportunity. But the final thing is, at what valuation the company is available because right now many companies are doing well, but the problem is they're available at, you know, 40, 50, 60 times kind of valuation. Now, this is where if we look at this company, this company is available at, uh, actually I analyzed, I started analyzing this company around 1060, 1070 rupees. And in last one week, again, there was a 13, 14% move. So when this company was trading around 1070 rupees, this company was available at eight times EVA beta and 14 times PE. I think right now, now it might have gone to nine times EVA beta and 16 times PE, uh, which is not very costly given the kind of visibility we are having in the sector and uh, the company and the stock and the execution capability. So it looks like this company has a very good track record and based on the order book visibility, it will continue to grow that way. The future order book is making the business much more diversified and also the valuations are reasonable. So this is about edgy infrastructure, uh, edgy infra engineering. And this is how we work in a very systematic and process driven manner where we use our systems to generate ideas. And then we take those ideas, we do our research, we execute, 
And this is how, uh, you know, we try to do our analysis. If you like our channel, if you like our work, do subscribe, do share it with your friends and in your community so that we can reach out to more and more people. And uh, I will see you soon. Thank you.